the pool. You fuck potatoes. But no. I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Fucking talk about my sister, all right? And something for you, too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle, who was it? Sorry, sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Close up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're like. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Man's ready will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. Right target, chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. That was way off the mark. Well, you're not a bad marksman. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took these. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? 
That's the last thing I'll do. Seven hundred feet tall and eight thousand years old. Not bad. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. Now, not a frost finger watching. Eric, you're the Castellan's nephew. What are you doing here? Lord Ethan judged me a thief, should have taken my fingers. Instead, he sent me to the wall. I wish he had cut him off. If he had, I'd still be home with my family. Instead, I'm stuck here for life. You'd rather your hands didn't work. That's mad. But it'd be over and done with. Fucking foresters. I gave you orders. So what are you doing up here? I'm curious. How did you lose your fingers? You're curious, are you? Are you curious what it's like inside an ice cell? No, sir. Didn't think so. Now if there's nothing else you need... I want to know when I'll be taking my vows. You arrived yesterday, Tuttle. Worry about me, not your vows. I've answered your questions. So why are you still standing here? Sir, have you heard of the North Grove? Of course I've heard of it. 
Just like I've heard of snarks, brumpkins, and children of the fucking forest. It's all horse shit. Sorry, sir. I'll get back to work. Be where they met the weapons. Probably lots to fight beyond the war. That's the door to the mess hall. They deserve it more than stew. Tuttle. See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. <clears throat> Want some help? Yourself, 
<sighs> I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. <gasps> Give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Just calm down. Fight! Oh! I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. If you ever hit me again, I swear. Here they go again. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. You must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. You, come with me. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? You're right. It's beautiful here. Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Come on, sit down. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. Ah. So, I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not 
very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. What of your father? Who is he? I don't know. My mother died not long after my birth. I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. There is something. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am, talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother, and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We're just enjoying the sunshine. Is that what they're calling wine these days? Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man. But judging by his up-jumped swords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. 
Like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. <laughs> Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. Help me stop the White Hills. Well, the quickest way to strangle your enemy is with his own purse strings. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. <laughs> 